Hey, uh, potato. You got there, buddy. What's this? It's a new game. Oh, this looks sick. Let's take a look. Oh, how you doing? You having a good day? Whoa, Deceive Ink. This looks crazy. Have you guys heard of this? Whoa. Cheers, man. Deceive Ink. Let's have a look, shall we? See what's going on. <laughs> No, I can't see him on the corner. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Deceive Inc. This is a this is a fun one. It's a it's a juicy game. My my lord, what is this game? You don't know who the spies are. Everyone is a suspect. <laughs> And the goal is you and your compa companions or, or solo, if you want, you load into a lobby with a few other teams and you've got to steal a briefcase. You're all trying to steal the same briefcase. And you can take on different disguises whilst you navigate the map and you try to unlock the vault. We'll get into all the details a bit later. It sounds simple. And when you look at it, it looks simple. But the way they've designed this all lends itself to some of the most just fast paced, fun, chaotic, fucking beautiful gameplay I've seen in a really long time. Like, I first saw this game on Next Fest. Ne next, next, Steam, Next Fest. Yes. I was like, I wanna try it, but it looks a bit shit. I don't know, I'm not too convinced. And then it released, and there were a lot of reviews that were basically like, bro, there's mad hackers, bro, bro. I'm getting embodied in every game, bro. Wall hacks, bro. Dead the game, bro. And then there's like these Reddit posts by people who are like, Hey bro, let me know when the game dies, yeah? I'll be back in like six months. And it's like, fuck off. So I was very hesitant. And then on a stream about a week and a half ago, I was like, yo mate, there's this game called Deceive. Should we try it? And my mate was like, uh, yeah, okay. And I was like, look, if it's really bad, we'll just refund it. And honestly, I think we're gonna refund it in like 30 minutes. So we bought it and uh, we haven't refunded it. In fact, we're, we're 20, 26 hours in and we're having a blast and the game slap right off the bat. If you want to know, like, what do I think? Eight out of 10, well, uh, there's a reason it's only an eight and there's two points missing, but we'll get there, it's fine. Right off the bat, eight out of 10, I recommend if you enjoy these kind of games, it's slappy. Does it need work? Of course it needs work. Every game needs work, but what's there for the price? is juicy okay it's it's really juicy all right and we got the the first the first big update on the way soon very soon with a season pass thingy you know those ones battle pass whatever they call them nowadays big loot anyway let's get into some of the juicy details nice and hot hot and spicy meat <laughs> yeah boy all right what we looking at Main menu, beautiful. So what have you got? You have a roster of agents and each of the agents is quite unique, right? They're all quite spicy in their own way. So I could go through every single agent. However, we will not go through every single agent. This is purely like telling you what you need to know about the game. You wanna be a sniper? Here's the sniper. There you go, boom. You wanna be a speedy boy with a fucking sick pistol? There you go, you can fulfill your fucking super speedy John Wick fantasies bopping around corners like pew 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 pew. I got a sick shot where I land like mad headshots. Pew pew pew. Anyway, this guy's awesome. Evil villain looking, I can't say that word. Chad, shotgun hand, beautiful. We got all the spice, right? Including like fucking booty. We got thieves, we got uh, slingshot. Uh, this one's questionable. Anyway, mummy. Hi, moving on. 
you got a whole thing of upgrades. These are the uh, chips that you can acquire in a match. You don't get these off the bat. You have to earn these. You have to find them throughout the map by risking it all and being sneaky. But they all convey loads of buffs and you can customize these decks to your liking. Now, admittedly, I don't really know why there's four. I guess for different characters, you might want different loadouts, but it seems like there's a bit of a meta already developing with which one of these are optimal. This is how I like to play. Uh, you can take a moment to look at that on screen. I'll just lower myself so you can see all the good stuff here. There you go, have fun, beautiful. All right, moving on. Your profile, where you can see all your beautiful statistics. As you can see, I, I don't know, is that good? Probably not. All right, let's stop here for a second. I don't like rotating shops. You lose a point for this one, developers, okay? This is where one of the points is gone. Why? These kind of shops incentivize false FOMO, whether it's intentional or not. People come onto the game and they see that they've got a thing in there that they might, they kind of want or like, and they're like, oh shit, but there's only like, it's only here for three more hours. So I've got to buy it now because I don't know when it will be here next. That's kind of toxic. Just put what you have in the shop on display and just put it there. And if people want to buy it, they can buy it. You don't need to incentivize fake FOMO by having everything on rotation and stressing players out and making it feel like something might go and not come back onto the shop for like a week or two weeks or three weeks or four weeks. It's just kind of, it's not necessary and it's a little bit scummy to be honest and I don't like it. That's the menus. It's super straightforward. The UI, mwah, simple, straight to the point. In here, once you've chosen your character, although they have unique elements, within those elements, each character, as you level up the masteries, has things you unlock that affect their expertise, which is almost like an ultimate ability. It's their unique ability. They're passive. They have passives. It's beautiful. And their main weapon. There are different variations. For example, with Squire, you can start with the simple pistol with a suppressor all the way up to a burst pistol. And then basically a hand cannon, which is my personal preference. Variations on your abilities. The first one allows me to find items. The second one gives me a speed brush. All the characters have this. So you can actually tailor a character that you already like to be even more within your niche. For example, I play a lot of Squire. I like to be speedy. I basically like to find a guy. Once I know it's an enemy, once we're in a firefight, I press F and I rush them and I jump around them and I just bop them in the head and it's like a great time and you know, pew, pew, pew. I imagine there will be a great breakdown. This one YouTube have done some beautiful work breaking down characters. If you want a video like that in the in the wizard style, we can make that happen. It's going to take me some time because I need to play every single character first, um, but to be able to really kind of inform you properly on what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, let me know down in the comments if that's something you would like to see. Moving on over here, you'll see these are your gadgets, right? And these are universal to every character. And it's important that you learn these and uh, find the ones that best suit your playstyle. You have a really big array of options here and you can use them on any character you want. So there's a bounce map, nice and straightforward, all the way to trip wires that if the uh, enemy players walk through will break their cover. Recon drones, these don't seem as OP as they might sound. Scramblers, my favorite uh, hollow mic, mimic thingy. This one's funky. You can scan an item and then become the item and just blend into the surroundings. I don't use it personally, but I've seen my friends do some really, really, really funky stuff with it. And honestly, it saved them a lot of times. It's, you can literally become a chair in the center of a room and not move. And most of the time, people will not notice. It's brilliant. You can be a plant pot in the completely wrong part of the map and people won't notice. It's actually beautiful, but I won't ramble. Here's a short list of positives. Graphics, peng. Performance, seven out of 10. There are some points where I drop frames really badly, especially when there's a lot of people fighting in one area, it becomes pretty horrendous. Like we go down to like 30 frames. It can be really rough sometimes actually. Uh, music, whoa, cracked. I want all the music in a soundtrack for me to listen to all the time. Cheaters, non-existent as far as I'm concerned. I've had one or two games where I've been a little suspicious, but the problem is, is I can't be 100% sure, mainly because of the fact that I'm a streamer. I stream, my name's out there. People sometimes probably stream snipe me. What can I do? It is what it is. This is the way. And it's just a reality I have to accept. 
but from my experience i have not encountered anyone aim hacking i haven't encountered anyone doing walls no speed hacks nothing it's actually fairly cheetah free which to be honest with you i am very surprised by because when i was looking online at this game a lot of the people they're like oh mad cheetahs everywhere bro cheetahs all over the place does it get repetitive some people have said yes i disagree yes the matches are the same in the sense of what you're doing and the goal and the map but because of the fact that there's so many ways to approach things you end up running into a lot of people who play the game very differently which means that your approaches are different and the way you you know interact and deal with those approaches is different and the way you sometimes lose is different and so you end up getting pleasantly pleasantly surprised a lot of the time at least i do and even learning a lot every single round i'm like wow those guys did that thing and that's awesome that's so smart what the hell i'm that's sick i want to do that and just generally speaking, all the mechanics in the game are designed so well that they're just fun. They're just enjoyable. They're smooth. They're clean. They're crisp. They're juicy. It's like biting into a freshly made burger right off the grill. And it's just like, and it's just so fucking good. And then you take another bite and it's just as good as the previous bite. And by the time you're done with the burger, you're like, give me more meat. It's good, man. If I have to say one thing, about this game it's that the devs have found a genre and a play a, a loop a gameplay loop that is unique and slappy and they've done it really really well right like really well i don't want to like suck them off too much but if any of the devs end up watching this mwah, kudos i i take my hat off to you sirs congratulations so what's next that's really the big question i think with a game like this the foundation is so strong that really what matters is how is it going to what's going to happen moving forward so we have an update coming pretty soon with the first season pass and a new character i believe and a bunch of other stuff there's a lot of details that we don't know yet they're redacted so we'll find them out as soon as we do I probably won't be doing videos on like the update or the news. I might if it's really sick. And again, if you guys want this stuff, then let me know down in the comments. But fundamentally, there are some great YouTubers out there who will do these things. I, I generally, yeah, anyway, bleh. I've been wizard. All the gameplay is from Twitch. It's beautiful. Come by, hang out. We have a great time. We have great music. We have great gameplay. And, uh, you know, generally speaking, the vibes are beautiful. So, uh, you know yes if you haven't played this game i highly recommend the wizard recommends fundamentally if you're still on the shelf come by the stream we're playing lots of games we'll be playing this game so you can see some gameplay and maybe even get some like you know mid-match opinions sometimes i give really crazy takes whilst playing on stuff so you know there you go Regardless, if you've enjoyed the video, leave a comment, like, subscribe, come back for more. Come by the Twitch, the links will all be down below. And I wish you a beautiful, lovely day. Goodbye.